Hi everybody, this is Farmer Joe coming to you from the Canadian Valley Map version 3. I saw an earlier version of this map and I really liked it. Problem was, it had a few flaws that rendered it pretty much a pain to play and record. With that in mind, the map author has made some a lot of changes and he's improved the map even more. As you can see, he's given us storage like the old days. But the one thing we have to do is either learn how to use conveyors or start bringing back, um, not backhoes, front loaders down here. Our animals, here we have the cows and their accoutrement and the pigs. We have storage here for our vehicles for our equipment. Here is our sheep and our chickens. More storage. I'm going to focus on the improvements because there's so many of them. I mean, here we have where we can pick up, where we can buy our animals. Go up here to our gas stations, our BGA, and I hit a tree, a power pole. Our BGA is right here. Everything is pretty much close to the farm except some of the cell points, which isn't a problem. I mean, the cell points, you're only going to go to when you're selling stuff, and they're spaced out nicely. Some. You can only sell by train. Driving's not good. And uh, for me, anyway. Um, some you can only sell, well, some you sell with your vehicles, which I think is a good matchup. It's the right way to do things, in my opinion, humble as it is. Um, one of the. Look at that, a second farm. It's the first time I've seen that one. Or if it's not a second farm, it's a cell point, one or the other. That's a cell point. Okay, this is one of the ones, I believe, that you can only sell with the train. Check the other side to make sure. Yes, it's one of the ones you can only sell with the train. Which, in my opinion, makes the trains more useful. And makes a little variety is good. One of the big things he did was fix the problem that was with the with these forests. The original version had this many trees, but they slowed the frame rate down to where it was unplayable. And by unplayable, I mean 14 at one point. Can't drive through the forest. Well, I can't drive through the for forest. Take the shortcut here, if I can. He's missed. He's fixed the problem that was that I had with one of the problems I had with the trees, and that was get out now, Joe. That. You had to they, they were in lines straight as an arrow lines now I live in an area where we have a lot of trees grow and I've never seen them straight as an arrow lines before which is a good thing to fix and don't run into that bloom an idiot I'm a lemon head. What can you do? I never said I was good at this. I only said I was going to try it. Oh, good. You got out the way. Here we have one of our trains. Another cell point. I assume. No, actually, it's the loading point for the grain on the trains. You see, a lot of our equipment, a lot of our buildings. Or from 
gold crest, which is okay. I mean, it's not a problem for me because look at that. Um, you know, there's there's not a lot of building mods out yet that I've seen that are good, in my opinion. Uh, they'll get better. I know they will. It was the same thing with 15 when it came out, and look how that came. It became a modest paradise to the point where I miss those mods, and I still go back to 15 some days. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we have our egg cell point, the diner. And we go up here, we have a harbor. And it's accessible to us. Got the gas station. The train comes through here. And has its cell points. Here we can sell. But the train can also sell. We have another one down here, I believe. Yes. That is only a train cell point. So in theory, we could either sell or load up our grain, the other one, and bring it as a shuttle. Now I've kept this video short. Or I'm trying to keep this video short because number one, when I do the let's play on this, I like to explore when I play, and I like to explore in the let's play and learn about you know, the farm and the surrounding area. And I know I classified this as a drive through but we don't want to get too carried away. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Um, you know, we, we own every field on this map, as near as I can tell. Um, like I said, we were through here already. This is the BGA again. We have a heating plant for wood chips. And our cell points again. We have a lot of cell points. Here's our heating plant. Drop over our wood chips, just like 15. We can even drop off, I believe, wood chips from our train. So as always, more variety. Get back out here. See where this takes us. Another cell points. More cell points. Ah, a grass zone. We get even get free grass. This is good. It'll help with our raising sheep. Yes, I guess. Here we have one of our Ponzi's. We have our buffalo. We don't have a wood chipper. We have a nice JCB front loader with a log and fork. As you can see, the frame rate dress still drops a little bit, but it's a big improvement over what it was. Now it's 20, 20 frames, 19, but you can work with that. I mean, it, yeah, it's a little choppy, but that'll improve with every version of the map. So, it's 
you know, plenty of gas, plenty of lights. I ran this um, so that I could uh, see what lighting was at night, and it's pretty good. That's pretty good. And here we have a wood chips and all the Ponzi. Ponzi. Speaking is rough. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially since it's my first time trying this. So, with that in mind, I'm, we're going to head back to our farm and we're keeping the idea that I hate Giants traffic. I really do. They just don't know how to drive these people. And with that, I hit a, I hit a lamppost. So I guess I'm one of them. Um, Giants traffic has always ticked me off because, you know, you see signs that the map makers make, and even Giants, when they build a map, you'll see signs 25 miles an hour, and the car's doing eight. Then I'll say 55, and he's still doing eight. Cut you off. Now we're back at our farm. This time we'll pull headed. Like I said, we will do a let's play on this. We will go do more exploring. And just to give you an idea of what we have for equipment when we start this map, go to our garage. We have our new Holland T8, the JCB that we saw, the log fork we saw. We have a harvester with a header, a chaffer with a corn header, agro liner, a forage wagon, a car, and a silo kick. That is all we get. So, we're going to have to buy a lot of equipment, which means we got to sell a lot of stuff. So we're going to be doing a lot of farming. So I hope you will join me on the Let's Play. And you can keep track by leaving a subscribe, by clicking subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Until the next time, when we start this Let's Play, this is Farmer Joe saying I'll see you on the farm.